We're going to go ahead and assemble the trimmer attachment now. And in the tool kit comes all these extra nuts and bolts and screws. And you'll see there's two different sizes in here, two different lengths also. The larger of the two, shorter but larger diameter of the two are what we're going to use on the guard here. So let's go ahead and get that on here. And remember what I said about checking all of the screws on these things because they, uh, this one was loose. This one is probably loose. Yeah, I would say loose too. That was the smaller of the, the two Allen wrenches. Here's the larger Allen wrench. We're going to need that to tighten these down. This did not have any Loctite or anything on the threads of this. I'm afraid it's probably going to loosen up later. I'm just going to kind of eyeball down here to get this thing squared up. And I guessed on the distance here from the center. I guessed on the distance from the center of the shaft to the, the edge of the guard. This does not have a cutter on it for the uh, string. So that's going to make it hard to, uh, to keep the string the right length. But um, I guess it's made really for the brush blades anyways, more so than the, the trimmer head. So I've got those two screws ran down. I'm just going to tighten them down by hand now with this Allen wrench. Make sure they dig into that really good. So that's, that's good and tight there. So kind of like this extra, extra thing right here. That's, that's kind of nice. So that's all nice and tight. So next up, let's go ahead and put a blade on here because I'm, I'm really interested in that. I'm going to check to make sure this has got some grease in it too before we get going too far. Because um, uh, this is pretty important to keep your machine running right. And yes, there is just a little bit of grease down there. I'll probably add a little bit more uh, later, another day. So... It's okay. Well, it's enough for us to get started for sure for today. So we have our scrunch here and this nut that's on here. And it is right-handed thread, so it's righty, righty loosey, lefty tidy in this case. So we're going to pull both of those off. We're going to give this 40 tooth blade a try. So let's pull that off. I'm going to leave the protective cover on there for now. So before we get started, we're going to make sure these holes are lined up here with this uh, adapter and the Allen wrench. So make sure that's in place because it might be hard to find later. So we're going to put this on in this direction. So the hook of the teeth faces the flap side of the guard. So once that's in place, we can put this thrust washer protector and nut in place and remember lefty tighty on these and make sure your allen wrench is in place so now we can go ahead and tighten it down all right that feels pretty good there so this little protector here is going to keep the uh, keep the nut from getting worn out if you end up hitting stuff with it so that's pretty nice so that's it. All right. So hopefully this is the same rotation as the other machine. We'll see. Uh, but this is how the other machine runs. So I'm guessing that's it. I'll go ahead and pull this protective layer off of here now, which that's kind of nice. I'm anxious to see how long this blade holds up. So this other end here has a protective cap over it and the splines for the for the drive and this little hole here for the quick attach adapter. I'm going to leave this on here for now though for for just a few minutes. We need to go ahead and get this handle put on here so we can control this thing. So it has this split rubber sleeve that's going to go on uh, the shaft there. It's got this lower lower piece and this upper, upper piece and these kind of interface together like that. Then these bolts go through this plate has a, um, let me show you this for you, it has captive, captive nuts in it, so these are going to lay, lay in there like that. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, for me, I'm going to start off with everything upside down so I can utilize these captive nuts to keep everything in place. I'm just going to put them down, pre-put them down in these holes. These look like uh, nylock nuts, so that's pretty nice. Uh, that'll keep these from vibrating out. I think there's only a few of these on the machine, but that's okay. So I'm just going to get them started. These are righty tighty screws. Okay, I've got them all started in here now. I'm going to flip this handle around, maybe slide it back just a little bit. This I might need to adjust depending on comfort level uh, for, for me, but that's good enough there. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten these down with the long end so I can really get them turning quickly and then we'll we'll use the short end to finish it off well, that might be good enough for now for, yeah that's, that's plenty for now I might put a little more tension on this one back here I could feel that kind of spinning around a little bit so I'm gonna get the uh, this uh, brush cutter head attached to the machine what we'll have to do is slide this in here and get it to attach and you'll feel it kind of click into place and that's when this this little pin it'll actually drop into into position and this can be a real bear sometimes All right, there it goes. It just snapped into position. So that's it right there. Let me straighten it up. It does have a little play in it. And I'm just gonna push this little protector down and tighten this T-handle. This T-handle broke on my other one and uh, I'll have to make a video on what I did to that one too. This one's kind of chipped a little bit, but that Chinese plastic probably just didn't hold up too well. I've got some uh, 25 to one mixed up here in this can. So we're going to go ahead and put some of that in here. Looks like that's good. That's got about a half a tank in there. Perfect. All right. We'll put the cap on there. Yeah, and I haven't turned this thing over other than what you saw. Me kind of checking how it was working there. So on the other, the other weed eater, the choke lever is backwards. So you can see that over here on this one. Uh, this is the original one. So on, down is choke off. It says on, but it's actually down is off. And up is on. So it's kind of labeled backwards. But the sticker over here is correct. So that's, that's always fun. On this one, if they follow their same kind of thought process that down is on or off, uh, you can see the, the graphic here is correct on this one. So that shows the choke lever is open and the the throttle body there the the body of the carburetor shows that it flows through this way it shows that the choke is closed it's that got that common you know where it, it shows the valve is closed and then down here it shows it as being an open so that's where we're going to start there we're going to pump the purge bulb uh down here so let's pump that purge bulb there's the fuel coming up through the fuel line i'm going to pump it keep pumping it until it comes out through the purge line, you can see the purge line here is, is, is got plenty of fluid in it. You can pump and pump and pump this and you're not going to flood it. So just make sure you got plenty in there. So that's that. So the next step is over here on the throttle, we're going to turn this to the on position, which is back toward the trigger and pull the trigger and maybe lock it in. Yeah, that works. So pull the trigger, lock it in. Okay, I've got the, the blade supported with the box there. If this is like my other machine, uh, it will it will take off on you. So I don't want to tear up my brand new blade by fooling around with it. So let's go ahead and see if we can get this thing to hit. Oh, there we go. All right, so let's uh, let's leave the choke on. It should go ahead and start up with the choke on. 
Maybe not. Maybe the truck needs to be off. Okay, well that started right up, but I kind of see a problem with something that I had done, and that is the fact that this throttle cable here is not allowing it to go all the way to idle. So that's why the, the throttle was going going a little, little high, the idle was going a little high. So let's go ahead and fix that, and uh, then we'll start it up again and test it out. I'm gonna use the tool kit again. And we're just going to pop this this screw out again. You can, might be able to squeeze in there and do it without removing this cover. But I, I think it'll be a little easier. Better for you to see anyway. So what we'll do here is, I don't know if you can see this, there's a there's a gap between the idle set screw, the, the LA, the low air set screw here, and and the throttle linkage so that needs to be adjusted so let's go ahead and do that it's gonna loosen up that nut I'm gonna run this in a little bit yeah that looks like that's really gonna help I'm gonna back the nut off and run that in a little bit there that's all the way up against uh, against idle right there so that's perfect okay you got that so let's go check the throttle make sure it goes wide open let's look at that I'm gonna pull the trigger here yeah it looks pretty good not quite wide open but maybe we'll back it off just a little bit so we get that full full throttle that's a little bit better there we go try it one more time that's still at idle right there. Still got play in the trigger. One more, I'm gonna back it off just another half a turn there. Yep, that's wide open and that's at idle and I've still got just a little bit of play there. So that's perfect right there. And you'll have to play with yours a little bit too to make sure it gets right. So we're just gonna tighten this, tighten that lock nut back down. Check it one more time. Yep, wide open and idle. Sweet. All right. Let's, uh, Let's go ahead and put this cover back on here and see if we can start it up again and see how it sounds. This time. Perfect. All right. Uh, let's get the check your blade again. Make sure it's not hanging up off anything. Make sure it's not going to hit anything. Turn our switch on. Probably go ahead and choke it one more time again. Let's see what happens there. All right, and turn the choke off. That sounds a little bit better. 